Welcome back to 15th Street Automotive. Uh, we're working on a 2008 Silverado this morning, uh, 5.3. Uh, customer states they have a check engine light. Let's scan this thing and figure out what's wrong. All right, looks like we got a PO16 uh, crankshaft position, camshaft position correlation problem. Um, this thing's got a brand new oil change. So uh, it's not likely an uh, oil quality problem. So we will uh, continue to look for something else. Here is the service information for that PO16. Uh, if we look here under uh, circuit description, um, it says here the crankshaft position sensor has a 60 tooth pattern, uh, tooth every 6 degrees. Um, the camshaft reluctor has four teeth, two narrow and two wide. Four trailing edges of each tooth are evenly spaced at 90 degrees apart the circumference of the camshaft sprocket. Um, when running, the ECM expects the camshaft signal pulses to occur 36 degrees, 36 crankshaft degrees before top dead center for cylinder one, and then every 90 degrees thereafter. So what we're going to do is we're going to scope that cam crank signals uh, with the Pico and see what the uh, what that pattern looks like. See if we're 36 degrees before top dead center. So conditions for setting the DTC. The cam signal falling edge, so the falling edge of the cam signal is more than minus 11 degrees or more than 14 degrees from the corresponding crank signal falling edge. This condition is equal to the camshaft gear being advanced or retarded one tooth. Okay, let's go scope that uh, cam crank and see what happens. All right, I've got my Pico hooked up to the <coughs> PCM. Our blue signal is in the crank, the white and black circuit of the crankshaft position sensor, and the red signal is in the blue and white signal, the camshaft signal. So you can see my setup here. I've got my Pico there, and then uh, the scope is set up right here. Okay, so here is my crank sink right here, and this is my short tooth, short tooth, long tooth, long tooth. So according to the service information, the falling edge of this tooth should be 
36 degrees before top dead center and we are at 70 degrees all right so what we got here is we've got our our ruler here on on the sink of top dead center and our first trailing edge of the camshaft should be 36 degrees before top dead center and we are at 57 degrees so we're 21 degrees off uh, that code sets when it gets more than 11 degrees off that's why our code is set so our uh, our phaser or our cam or our cam gears uh, is off 21 degrees. Uh, so we're going to need to go into the uh, timing cover and uh, uh, inspect that a little closer. So on this uh, Silverado with the uh, uh, P0016, uh, the oil um, has just been changed recently, but uh, he's got a history of um, you know 7,000 mile oil changes so I suspect that our problem with that P016 is uh, um, uh, the cam phaser possibly getting stuck uh, the oil circuit that controls that getting stuck uh, sludged up and and um, and creating that problem um, we're gonna recommend uh, doing a uh, oil cleaning uh, chemical in there I'm not a big believer in those things but uh, the alternative is to take that timing cover off and uh, inspect the timing chain. So this is a inexpensive, quick, easy potential fix. Um, and then uh, if it continues on, then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go into the timing chain and, uh, and check and see if maybe the tensioner is off or, or what the case may be. But it's definitely 21 degrees off, which is going to set that code every time. Um, uh, could just be a phaser sticking. Could be a oil control circuit sticking, um, but uh, time will tell. We'll put the, chem the chemical in there, drive it a little bit, change the oil and filter, and then uh, and see if that light comes uh, comes back on. Thanks for watching.